Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now August 27th of 2021, and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2, and of course, The Bad Batch Season 1, a lot of Star Wars fans around the world have been very much curious about what's to come by both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni, as well as George Lucas for this new expanded universe. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, if you would like to go ahead and check me out at Mike01 on Twitter, you guys can go ahead and do so if you would like to. Now, we're in a very interesting moment right now. So, we're at the very end of August. We're heading into September, which is going to be a very important month because that's when the Book of Boba Fett is going to begin to get teased on a grand scale. We're going to be learning more about what's to come for November when it comes to the major announcements by Disney CEO Bob Chapek and, of course, Favreau, Filoni, and George, as well as, of course, what's going on with the release schedule of the new TV shows. So we're going to be getting a nice update on the roadmap of Star Wars in the coming months. Beyond all of that, The Mandalorian Season 3 begins filming next month, and Kenobi actually just wrapped filming. So, Kenobi's all done, and or just wrapped filming as well. Those two shows are already in post-production, and they're beginning to focus more so strictly on Mando Season 3 and the Ahsoka Tano series. So, on top of all of this... What's really exciting all has to do with what Favreau has been revealing for the past couple of days about the future of Star Wars, kind of hyping the fans, giving them a little bit more excitement about what's to come for their fan favorite characters as well as new characters alike. That's going to take a drastic turn for the overall franchise. That's what John and Dave want to do. Not only do they want to bring back Star Wars Legends in a significant matter, but they also want to bring back that original feeling of the franchise. A good feeling, as Dave Filoni really made that specific in the Disney Gallery episode with Luke. So, on top of all of this, all right, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe, such as shows like Ahsoka and even the Kenobi series that will take Star Wars in new directions, both Favreau and Filoni are hard at work on bringing Star Wars back to its roots, and especially respecting the vision by George Lucas. Now, as for now, in a recent interview, when Jon Favreau was being questioned about The Mandalorian Season 3 and beyond, he was questioned about key aspects of the brand, to where he was questioned about whether or not he was involved with the Kenobi series for Disney+. Favreau went on to explain that he and his partner Dave Filoni have had major connections to the show and do have some pull on how the story will be told with Deborah Chow and others. Favreau went on to talk about actor Hayden Christensen, making it clear that it was his idea to bring back Hayden into full swing as Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker. Favreau reveals that Hayden's performance in the series is vastly different than how he was in the prequels, which I know many fans gave those films different, of course, pieces of criticism based on his acting performance from the scripts he was given by George. Favreau goes on to reveal that Hayden as Anakin and Vader is the key of the series and that there will be aspects of Vader's life that have never before been seen that the fans will finally be able to see. It's going to get philosophical with Vader and you're going to feel his emotions deeply in this show. I met up with Deborah Chow on how we could actually change Vader in a safe and yet powerful way and me and Deborah Chow seem to have found the right formula to make that happen. I think you are going to love the lightsaber action sequences in the series that Hayden actually trained for so many weeks on end, and that we are going to be giving every fan a lightsaber duel like no other that will be just as defining as the Empire duel between Luke and Vader. Favreau was also questioned about Anakin Skywalker and if there would be any form of flashbacks. John Favreau took a moment and went on to unveil that though I really want to keep it a surprise for everybody, how do I answer this correctly? Well, what I can tell you is that there will be flashback sequences from multiple characters that date back to a beloved era in the Star Wars TV shows, but that's about as far as I will go for you guys, as Favreau laughs and moves away from his question. Favreau also went on to say that the suit for Vader in the series is absolutely beautiful with some changes that I believe will excite many fans. We are not changing the suit drastically or anything like that, but it will be a change enough to only be identified for the Kenobi series when you're looking back on it. You're going to be seeing tons of behind the scenes of Vader's life in the show. I just cannot wait for you all to see it. 
Now, I want to actually touch on what Favreau had to say about this and why it's so very important. Number one is that he made it very clear that Hayden's performance when it comes to his acting in the show is completely and significantly different than how he was in the prequel trilogy movies. So once again, we have gone over the leaks before in the past that there is going to be major flashback scenes involving both Kenobi and Anakin in the Clone Wars era, and Favreau just kind of hinted at that. Sure, he shied away from the question a bit, but he made it very clear that there are going to be flashback scenes that's going to date back to a beloved era. Makes a lot of sense, right? I mean, multiple characters, of course, that points toward Kenobi and Anakin, maybe even others out there that we already know of, and the beloved era, quote-unquote, that he spoke of, has got to connect to the Clone Wars era that we actually talked about before based on the leaks. Now, the thing about all of this that also goes beyond everything is the fact that Favreau made it very clear as well that we're going to be diving into behind the scenes of Vader's life and it's going to get very philosophical for Vader, very philo philosophical for the character. Now, some of you out there may think that that's a little bit too dangerous to kind of dive into that aspect of his life. I know some people out there feel that you shouldn't really go too far into Vader's personal life, but you know what? I think it's a very interesting way to show exactly what Vader is going through, show us a different side of his character. Obviously, Deborah Chow spoke about this before in the past, that if you guys like the Vader comic books, a lot of the stories from the comic books are going to be thrown into the Kenobi TV show. So there's going to be a lot of that in this series, and it's going to give you a little bit of a different feel for the character of Vader. Now, the thing about all of this as well is that Favreau also wanted to make it known to the fans that there's going to be a lightsaber duel like no other, that it's going to be just as iconic as the Empire Strikes Back duel on Bespin. So the duel of Bespin, all right, was a very iconic sequence. It really defined the movie The Empire Strikes Back. There's no doubt about it. Favreau really went above and beyond to say that this duel is going to have that kind of feeling. It's going to be on that grand scale of things. That it's going to be that special and iconic to the fans. Now, we talked about this before in the past, that there are going to be multiple saber duels in this show. But there's going to be one in particular that's going to be quite defining, and that is, of course, the moment in between both Kenobi and Darth Vader. Even Hayden and Ewan actually confirmed this, that it's a very involved lightsaber duel, took a lot of time to get used to when they were reading throughout, throughout all of it on the script, of course. To me, I think that this really is going to be a big deal for the fans. It's going to give fans a true feeling of the originals and the prequels mashed together. That's what they're aiming for when it comes to tone, when it comes to the saber duels. They want to mix it up, mix it up all a bit and give fans something to truly look forward to. So, like I said before, guys, you know, let me know what you think about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.